Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son. Merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. <laughs> you have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. You, know, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself to the brink of death. Oh, get up. <sighs> Come on, car isn't gonna oh. move itself. Sheesh. Uh, I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready, steady, uh -huh. push! Gladio, Why's do me a so favor. Heavy? What? Push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice if we just let go. Pronto, don't even think about it. <laughs> Save some breath for pushing. Ignis, come on, time to switch. Nuh-uh, we just switched back there. And it's my turn, Noct. His turn. <sighs> the world's a big old place. Filled with wonders. Uh, tell that to my legs. Hey there, y'all kept a girl waiting. 
Now, which one's the prince? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Freya's groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Papa. Well, that makes you. Cindy. Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Now we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it either. Well, might as well make good use of the extra time. out here. Oh, Ignis is gonna flip. Wait, uh, what's a gill? I got a feeling our money's no good here, Noct. Betcha Ignis came prepared, though. Let's ask him. for room and board. Something the matter? Got any change on you? The local kind. Funny you should ask. I just paid Sid for the repairs. So change is about all we have left. Gladio's got the last of it. He might share if you ask nicely. Broken down and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. Yeah, let's pay him a visit. I think I got a pebble in my shoe. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? Huh, knocked? Hate to ask, but could we borrow some cash? Now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was going to teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? Well, so much for finding an easy way out. Thanks a lot, Papa. <laughs> This just goes on. Here. 
You okay, Specky? I'm fine. <sighs> what happened here? A telegraph pole's been split in two. And not just this one, either. Maybe a huge monster came and knocked him down. It better not be the varmint Cindy was talking about. It's only so far a man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Uh, pretend you're walking to the car. Let's get this over with. How's it look over there? <laughs> that ought to be worth some spare change.
Anybody else excited for the next time our car breaks down? Are you really that desperate? Yep, I really am. It's too dangerous! Get out of here now! Saw my life flash before my eyes. Thanks. Nice. Mission complete. The sun's colder today. Yep. Getting pretty dark out here. Who could this be? Hello? Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. A fella named Dave went off. We ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. Have a look. Have a look. this Right. Yeah. 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 
That was a close one. Too close well, for comfort. That takes care of them. Uh, you don't think they took care of Dave, do you? All in the realm of expectation. They knocked. Check it out. That's it. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. 